longer, you'll, you'll know this. You know, you can actually try and pinch the corner. You know, you can hit it straight off the middle of the front wall as low as you can. Or you can even try and hit it down the left or into the left corner. So you really, when you throw it down the middle, you have an option, whatever shot you want to hit, as long as you get your feet set and you get your, you know, that pre-shoot position, okay? Oh, Anthony, all right. Anthony is a three-time national champion, okay? This guy's one of the best players in the world, 15 and under. Okay, let's see it, Anthony. Oh, that was good. Nice power. Really nice. Okay, now let's, let's everybody try and watch Anthony. Let's watch how he gets behind the ball and then how low he gets. Because when he's hitting, he's really bending in here. Okay, he's not bending like this, and he's not like this. He's really like almost sitting down. He's bending, and then he's able to keep his hand parallel with the floor. Okay? Wow. Wow. That was really nice. Thank you, Anthony. Um, now, what Anthony did there was that ball actually double bounced before it got to the short line. That's an ideal kill shot. So if you've hit this shot really low, it's going to bounce twice before it gets to the short line. That's kind of a goal. Okay? So that would be the first thing I would work on, just going in the court by yourself. And what's really fun about handball is that you can practice by yourself. It's not like football where you need somebody else or, you know, tennis, even where you need someone on the other side of the net. You can just go in the court for hours, literally, and just throwing the ball off the wall, all kinds of different shots, off the back wall, off the ceiling. So it's a kind of game that, you know, it's more fun, generally, to play with somebody that's at your own level, but also it's fun to go in and just practice by yourself. So, um, John, I think you're going to take the guys through some pre-shoot position. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to leave it up to you, and you, I want you to take us through what we can work on to become a little bit better. One of the things that uh, he was talking to you guys about, hitting the ball low for a low kill shot, hit above the waist for a good pass shot, hit above shoulder late, shoulder height for ceiling ball. So you have three different shots there. What David's teaching right now is that low hard drive shot or kill shot. And you guys, on the more of the advanced guys, you watch them on how they did it, is that they got behind the ball first and then they moved into it, just like David was talking about, getting that momentum moving forward, okay? Now, the guys that you were hitting it up a little bit higher, you can't, you can't really try to kill the ball when that ball's above your shoulder, okay? Because what happens is, look at the angle. If I'm gonna try to attempt a kill shot from up here, look at the angle that it has to go in for a low, a low shot, right? It's got an angle, because I'm hitting it from here. So when it hits the front wall, it's gonna have a tendency to bounce up. So the reason you want to hit it low as comfortable is because now you can get that low, hard drive, straight shot in, okay? Now, more advanced players can kill the ball from up higher, but they do more with the ball with their wrist, okay? But for beginners, you always want to attempt that low shot, hitting the ball low, low as comfortable, okay? Let's, let's talk about uh, court position real quick. So David, you take the front court position. Okay, now, let's talk about positioning really quick. Whoever controls this front area of the game is gonna win. It's not the guy shooting from 40 feet back. Okay, it's the guy that's taking control of the game. He's controlling the tempo. So if you, if, if you can learn anything at all, is that you wanna be in front of your opponent to win the game. So what shots do you hit, can you hit, to remove him from the front court? So David, take center court, let's just say. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna take a shot off the back wall, let's say. Now I wanna move him off, off the center of the court and perhaps even behind me. So now I have to learn some shots that I have to hit to move him. There's a couple shots you can hit here. You can hit one straight down the wall. So now David has to cover that shot. He's out of center court. Now I move into center court. Okay, reset. The other shot you can hit is a, what they call a V-pass. This is probably one of the shots I learned when I was an open player and made that next step to the pro level. This one shot alone, I think, took my game from that open level to pro. And it was because I was removing my player out of the front court. And it's called a V-pass shot. David, you probably can hit, you're warmed up. You could probably hit a V-pass. The V-pass shot is exactly that maybe just a little bit low, uh, lower in height. Perfect, that's a perfect V pass. So what that does 
is now I'm in the front court. David hits that. Now I have to run back here. What happens now? We switch positions. Now David's in control. Okay? If you guys can learn that shot early on, you're going to be far ahead of everybody else. Right? Thank you, John, very much. Um, I think for some of you other guys, maybe that just started playing today or just started playing, think about if you're playing basketball and you're playing defense, you don't want to let the guy you're guarding just get right to the basket. You know, you're trying to push him out as far away from the basket as you can and make it harder on him because it's much harder to score from 17 or 18 feet away than it is from four feet away from the basket. And it's kind of the same concept here in handball. It's much easier to score from here because first of all, you don't you can not hit the greatest shot and still win the rallies, and you can pick up a lot of their shots because you're here. Much more difficult to score from back here where John is because now you've got your opponent in front of you and you pretty much have to hit a perfect shot to win the rally. Okay? So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the serve. Okay, and the serve, in my opinion, is tied for the most important shot in the game. To me, it's the serve and the return of serve and the back wall shot to me. But the serve is the only time that you're not reacting to the ball. Okay, so the serve is, you've got the ball in your hand, you've got time to think exactly what you want to do with the ball, where you want to hit the ball, and there's no reason you can't hit it pretty much exactly where you want. It's not like during the rally where, you know, the ball comes at you too fast, you can't react to it, and you, you can't really aim exactly where you want to aim. So what you want to think about on the serve is concentrating, getting through a routine, getting into the box, knowing where you want to stand, and knowing exactly what serve you want to hit. Now there's a bunch of different serves that you can hit. It really comes down to what's your best serve and what's your opponent's weakest return. So if your opponent is right-handed and he has a weak left, you're going to hit some kind of serve that goes into the left corner back here and force him to hit with his left. Now obviously if he's left-handed, you might want to serve to the right, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and have everybody try and hit what I would call a power serve, which would be a first serve where you're trying to hit the ball hard and low and just barely clear that short line, okay? So let me have um, Anthony come on in here and hit a power serve first, and let's have you hit this down the left. So let's have everybody move over on the, the right wall now. And you know, even when you're practicing, you can even set up a target. I mean, you can come in here and you can set up a can, you know, right here, and try and hit that can. I know, John, you've gone in the court and hit the can, what, five times in a row, one time? Right, yeah. So, I mean, you're trying to aim somewhere in this area here where that ball is. Now the ball has moved in the wrong spot. But that's kind of where you want to aim, okay? Because if you do, now your opponent has to return the serve from right here. Okay, go ahead. Okay, look at this. What can I do from back here? Very difficult to return. Okay, that was a great serve. Excellent. Let's have everybody else take a shot. You want to hit with the racquetball? Okay. There you go. That was a good swing. Good, now let's try it one more time. You wanna actually try and use more of your hip rotation and shoulder rotation. So that time, your swing was just kinda of like this. So you didn't really turn your body through it so the, the ball could only go down the right side. So you wanna actually think about clearing your hips here and then you can hit that shot behind you. Okay? Sure. If you ever wanna know how to hit a shot, throw it first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw it so that I can catch it right here on one bounce. Same motion as hitting it. Yeah, that's it. That was good motion. Good. Try it one more time. Right, bounce it so I hit so I can catch it. Good. Now try and hit it. Same shot. That was really good. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, good. Yeah. What, if you want to try and throw first and then hit, that's fine too. Okay. That was a pretty good throw. Go ahead. Good, now hit this one. Try and aim just past the short line. Now, for those of you, that was pretty good. For those of you who may not know yet, 
when you're serving, you have to hit, land the ball over this line. So you have to hit the front wall first, the ball has to land over this line, and it has to bounce before the back wall. Okay, so go ahead, let's try and get one over the line. Almost. Okay, ready, who's up? You're gonna use the hard ball, right? Wow, nice swing. Really nice swing. Good. Excellent. Okay. Wow, what a serve. Really nice serve. Perfect. With some hop, too. That was great. You got the long arms. That's really good for handball. You got the arms of what? About a guy who's six foot three? Good. Nice. Really nice serve. Good. Excellent. Okay. One more. You're going to hit this one with the big ball, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. Nice, good serve. Excellent. Now, what I think we're gonna do now is play a little bit of round robin doubles. Okay, John, are you up for playing a little bit with the big ball? Okay. Yeah, because we got we'll have eight with you. So why don't I take this young man here? We're gonna be a team. Okay. Um, you and John are gonna be a team. Okay, go ahead over there so I can keep everything straight. Um, you guys or no. You guys are gonna be a team. Okay, and then you guys. Okay, you guys ready? You guys serve first. All right, everybody's not in. John, you and your partner are gonna be up first. Hmm? Are you okay? No, we're gonna hang out back here. So we're gonna go in next, okay? Short, so if you win the point, you stay in. Nice. John, you guys are in now. You stay in until you lose the point. We're in now. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're ahead of you guys. Bob plays it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, you guys are up. Good.
back up and get your legs into that ceiling shot. If you hit that ceiling shot falling back like this, a lot of times you're gonna hit the ceiling, it's gonna come straight back down. Tough serve. Real tough. Okay. That was so bad. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's terrible. Now, you're letting too many balls go to the back wall. You got to take those balls on the way up and hit them over him. Because, okay, all right. That's a tough serve. No one gets that back. That's too tough. Think about taking that one out of the air. Take that before it bounces, a little easier. That's you. That's good. Nice. You. All right, I got it. Okay, so this time I'm going to serve, so when I'm serving, you have to stand. No, no, you'll stand over here. So as soon as my serve crosses the line, no, in this box. There you go. So as soon as my serve crosses the line, you can get out of this box, okay? All right, now, we're going to start counting points now. First team to get five points wins. You only get points in the box. You. Nice. Me, me. Good try. Good power. Everyone's at zero. Now this is a good rally. That's it, that's make it. Okay. Is that a side out? Okay, no points yet. Close game. Oh, that's tough. Okay, you guys have one. You. Nice. Come on. That's a good shot. It's a good swing. Let's, back, let's move this way a little bit more. Do they have two? Short. Nice. Shot. Is that a point? Oh, side out. How many, how many points does everybody have? We have zero. Happy to admit that. Announce it. Tough serve. That's a lot of power. That had to be about 70 miles per hour. That was tough. All right, guys, now, when you guys are returning serve, we're, we're up here. When you're returning serve, you got to be in this athletic position here like this. You don't want to be just staying here like this. Okay? It's got to be here. That way, if it goes to your left, you're ready. If it goes to your right, you're ready. You got to communicate with your partner, too, especially the ball comes right down the middle like this, somebody's got to say mine, okay? It's important. All right. We have zero. One. Oh, you got caught napping back there. Two. When your partner returns, you got to move up right around this restraining line, in between the restraining line and short line. We've got two. Three. Short. Terrible. Match point for us here. Yeah. Ah. Shot. How many points you guys have? Nice. Okay. Short.
Good rally. Wow, that's beautiful. Are we in? <laughs> Who's, are you guys in? Okay. How many points? How many points does everybody have? Four? Oh, come on. You guys, I need you guys right here. When this game's over. Two minutes. Four. Good serve. They have. Sir. All right. Great job, guys. Now, before we before we leave here, so a couple closing thoughts. Now, for you guys that are just playing for your first time and for your first first week, it might seem overwhelming, but the more you play this game, the better you get at it, the more fun it is. And then it just becomes more fun the better you get. And I know John, you know this. The better you got, the more fun it is because the more you can do with the ball. The more strategy you can implement, the more thinking there is, the better work out it is. So it, it seems kind of daunting sometimes at first, you know, the, the, all these angles and all these walls. But um, how long have you been playing, young man? Three years? Yeah, and this guy's already a great player. So this is the kind of game you play for the rest of your life. You know, and it's, it, it keeps you fit. It keeps you, you know, motivated. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. So. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming here to the clinic today. I hope you guys had fun. Hope you learned a couple of things. I hope you guys keep playing. All right? Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Oh, of course.